Good morning, Warriors! Back with another episode of Bigger Warriors 2, the 1% Club. And I am uh, doing one on a Sunday. I know it's Labor Day tomorrow. I'll try to do one tomorrow if I can. If I don't, I'm going to do one today and uh, kind of uh, talk a little bit, kind of get down to some things that uh, you might want to hear. Great, uh, once again, great um, things as far as donations. I think that uh, I appreciate Kirby a lot, uh, and I also appreciate Alvin, a lot of other people, so thank you for that, keep doing that. I also get a lot of subscriptions, we're up to 560 or something like that, that's wonderful. Uh, keep doing that, I want uh, great things, and a lot of great comments. The main thing to me is the comments that you guys are involved with. I think that's really, to me, uh, important because it gives me a chance to um, do a lot with, um, you know, topics and talk about certain things that you guys want to talk about. I mean, I could talk about this, you know, forever because this is something that's been really important, uh, a change in my life and has made my life a hundred times better, but I really want to kind of get your stories and talk about those things. So uh, this is the one thing I would recommend uh, that you guys really kind of just kind of share with me. I'm seeing some good stuff going on here. Um, Go to Marcus, for instance, sent me one 814 days. So, sir, keep going. That's wonderful. That's a that's a warrior mentality. You're you're moving ahead. That's great. Keep doing that. And then, uh, you know, uh, Kirby is doing a great job with lots of things that, that he's doing. So keep doing that, Kirby, as well. Alvin is doing great. I see Matt is doing wonderful. So continue with Matt. There's lots of great people on there that are doing wonderful. And so I continue doing that. You guys are just continuing realizing how important this is. And I, I can't keep stressing enough that it took me 47 years and so that's kind of why I can talk from my experiences on this to do this. Now, um, we had one, uh, I think it was Money uh, Sauce, and I can't pronounce the name, so I apologize. But they asked me about haters on uh, semen retention. I, I do think some people just don't want to talk about the topic. They think it's kind of gross. I've had some people talk to me about that. I've had some people talk to me about this is just not right. I do think some people... When they understand the concept of brahmacharya and sophism, and they understand the concept of celibacy, um, they are going to get mad. So let's talk about that a little bit. And uh, I also want to get your guys to kind of send in your ideas and um, you know your successes because I think I was also asked about that as well. So let me kind of talk about that. I think that um, a couple things here. You have to celebrate your small successes and I've had a bunch of them over the years I think that um, but they've got to kind of continue to move on to the next one you've got to keep building building and building like I said it took me 47 years to actually build to any kind of long streak now I think I'm at 100 820 whatever it might be uh, you have to get to the point where you are kind of moving ahead but this is also a lifestyle change. And you're gonna have people who are gonna be upset with you. You're gonna have people who are jealous of you. And I think subconsciously a lot of women will not be happy with the fact that you're not gonna release. Uh, there, are, there are energy suckers, energy vampires who subconsciously, I'm not saying this is consciously, subconsciously want your energy. All you gotta, all you gotta do is know this. This is to tell you everything you want. If you have intercourse with someone, you will feel drained and they will feel very happy. Excited actually. Because they have your energy. And it's just a just a fact when you see it, you'll you'll notice what's happening. And when you see this, it gives you an idea of saying how powerful you are. And that you should be very discreet of where you give your energy, if at all. You know, if you're holding it until you have a family and children, that's wonderful. And with one person, you know, that's what I think God intended. 
not this just uh, profuse stuff thrown all over the place, energy all over the place, losing energy on bed sheets, all kinds of stuff because of a, a silly picture that's doctored to begin with anyway, to get you excited. And so this is why I think we had some good suggestions about, um, you know, avoiding media, avoiding this. I don't really see a lot of social media anymore. I may watch a, a football game. I may do this a little bit. But I guess just, I get, every time I see something, I just kind of get disgusted because of all the false messages that people are trying to get out there to sell you about certain things. And in this, and retention is one of those key ones, right? They're talking about and how great enhancement is, all this kind of stuff I see commercials on. But the bottom line really is, what are you what are you using this for? Just for self-pleasure? And this is how societies fell apart. And I see this a lot happening with our society now. So we've got to try to think to yourself, okay, what is the purpose what I'm doing? And can I gain small victories? So um, no matter what position you're in, and I think mentioned a few people mentioned this that we are all in different positions, and as you're in your positions in in, in your I mean position in life, as you move through, you're going to face different battles. My devil really is this battle with just staying away from images and pornography and temptation, and so it took me years. Now I did have some small successes. But it wasn't until I decided to take one day at a time, and I think that's probably a good way to handle it in my situation because I had 47 years of going back and forth. I took one day at a time, and I finally committed to saying, no, nah, I'm not doing this anymore. That's it. Now, I was 57 years old. Let me know if I'm sorry, 58, something like that. Well, I'm 61 now, two years, 58, 59, okay? So the thing is, is that um, when you're talking about committing, you're saying, this is it, no more. I'm committed to this, and I need to um, stop what I'm doing, and I need to not go back to this, and I've got to do the best I can. Now, fortunately, what happens, and I know that uh, people are asking about small victories, things like that. What happens is that you can build a habit. And no matter what situation is, no matter if you've been uh, releasing energy for the last, you know, two years, three years, ten years, you know, you can actually go ahead and stop the process. Now, I'm not saying this is easy, by the way. I'm just saying you can stop the process because you remember, you have built a habit. You built a habit of releasing. And you like that short-term pleasure of that, but then you feel the guilt and get upset. You know something is wrong. You know that you're basically not doing something that's not right. Okay, So because you know that, you're now focusing on trying to say, okay, how do I stop this? Well, you can stop this basically by going ahead and taking one day at a time, saying to myself, I'm getting away from the media. And I think media, a lot of social media is a big part of this. I mean, you know, you get your phone. I'm an older person, so to me, the phone is not as important as to a lot of you young guys. But I would say, guys, learn how to get away from that phone. Do other things to do. I mean, I have a lot of hobbies. I have a lot of sports, a lot of things I can do. And see, this is something that's interesting to me, too. This is over the years um, long before you, a lot of you guys were born, but you know, there was a time where we just had my parents had radio. There wasn't even television until like the fifties. My grandparents, I mean, there is l less and less media there, and because of that, people had to actually go out and do things. They didn't have time to sit and watch anything, pictures, right? I mean, they barely had any kind of photographs at all. And, yeah, I'm sure people still did some of that stuff. They had, you know, I remember my grandparents telling, my grandfather telling me that he had movies and all kinds of stuff, like some crazy things. And, and you know, this is where, how they did it back in those days, you know. But the thing is, is that, you know, it's all a pattern of temptation. It's all a pattern of not trying to get 
the small victories. You gotta get the small victories one day at a time. And you gotta try to look at how can I stop this behavior? And like I said, getting involved with other things, getting getting out of bed early in the morning, I take dogs for walks, I get involved in things so quickly that I just don't have time to sit and by the time I get to the night time, I, I'm, I'm sleeping, you know, most of the time. Now, I try to catch myself if I start going into a bad pattern. I just try to fall asleep. And, and that's kind of a thing that's difficult because as you do this, there's always going to be chances that you start thinking about things and, and doing those type of things. But as you build the habit, little by little, day by day, you become stronger. And I've seen this in the streak of 800 some days. You know, you're building stronger. You're you're building that defenses. This is why I call you know call us warriors, and that we're in a, in a war all the time. You're building defenses so that it's harder and harder for the devil to do this. And they're going to try. But as we had people mention before, stay away from the media. Stay away from all that kind of stuff because you got always see pictures popping up. And it's very easy to get back into this, you know, unless you become really strong. And and so it's tough, you know, um, you know, because you never know whether it's live women you're talking about who approach you because you're attractive, or whether it's a, a picture you're looking at, or any sort of other thing in there. You're going to have times where temptation is going to be very, very strong, and you've got to realize, well, I've got to try to stop this the best that I can. How do I do that? Well, it goes back to that small victories that, that a few people have been asking me to talk about. I had those kind of small victories one day at a time, two days at a time, three days, and I kept going after that. But, but you know, you've got to make it a lifestyle change because I knew the first few weeks I had withdrawal, it was tough because I'm used to going back and forth. Yeah, I'll take a few days here, I'll take a week, but I could not sustain it until I finally said, I'm not doing this anymore. So the key in my situation, at least, and it may not be for years, but for me, is to go ahead and say, I'm committed to this. I am not going to do this any longer. And yeah, I may, I may relapse. You know, I may uh, go back and think about it like I went off a of monk mode. I, that may happen. But the thing is, is that you know that down deep, the more important thing is the, the change. And that's why we go back to the faith and the hope in, in, in the Lord and, and your, your faith in God. Um, you have faith that you are bigger than this. This is not that important. It may seem important. The media may make it seem important. Pornography, all this. It seems like this is the biggest thing. This is the most important thing just to go and release all day long. But it's not, you know, it's not. And the difference between men and women is men don't have, you know, their menstrual cycle year, uh, every month, and they just don't have, they, see, in women's cases, a lot of women lose energy when this happens. And they'll gain energy during the month, but then they lose energy, and all of a sudden, you know, this is why they're, um, they're not strong with this the whole month. Well, men, unless they do it on their own, should be able to keep their energy until they need it to procreate. And I just can't tell you the health benefits are just unbelievable. The traction benefits, it's just a whole different life. And I am so blessed and grateful that I decided finally to make the right decision and decide to stay with this forever. But you know, it took you know it took me until I was almost sixty years old, right? So you know, I uh, hope you guys make your decisions a lot earlier than that, because uh, I feel great now, and I feel like I can live a long, long time, and I feel like a superhuman now. But I can just imagine if I had felt like this back when I was in my twenties, uh, you guys would be conquering warriors all over the place, right? Genghis Khan and all kinds of great guys like that, right? Napoleon, all conquerors, you know, um, Alexander the Great, all these people, 
Julius Caesar, all these people. This is how these guys did this back in the old days, right? Uh, can you just imagine, look at the Roman Empire, for example. All those soldiers were so trained that they did not succumb to a lot of this stuff all the time. In fact, I would guess, now I don't know this, I would guess, but just like athletes, they were trained to avoid women, you know, for, for especially during coming up battles. Now, I think that eventually the fall of the Roman Empire, along with the fall of Babylon and the fall of the other places, occurred when all of a sudden they lost their battle with temptation, which can happen. You got to be careful. And then all of a sudden now you're going back to the way it was, lascivious type behaviors, and that destroyed them from within. They became weaker, and then people like Attila the Hun and all the the different tribes came in and took over the Roman Empire, and eventually it was no longer there, right? Now you still have the Roman Empire uh, when it comes to the Roman Catholic Church, but it's obviously a different type of, of form of the old Roman Empire. But the guy, the, guys, the idea is, is that you're always going to be in a battle. And if you stay strong, you'll become like those great warriors of the past. You feel like that. You know? All right, my friends. Well, anyway, great comments. I just wanted to make a, a, a Sunday morning type of uh, video here. I hope everything is going well. Once again, thank you to all the people. Uh, I sometimes forget people, so... Uh, don't don't feel offended. I will try to mention as many people as I can uh, as I go along. I have a bunch more comments, and and we'll talk about other types of things. Ogrard, Ogrard, O G R A D. Thank you for that comment and that question. Uh, I appreciate that. I you know I probably messed up your name, so I apologize for that. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope everything is going well. Keep on that purpose, and certainly share with with us all kinds of different uh, victories you guys have had. I think it's a tremendous thing to, to kind of form a group like this that we can talk. There's a lot of other ones online as well. So any way you can get your information is great. But it's got to keep motivating people because this is going to end up changing the world so we go back to the warriors of the past. And you need to have small victories to do that and continue. So God bless you guys. And guys, as I always say, Battle on!